Genshin Impact is a game about one of two things, and one of those two things is absolutely broken. But you'll see what I mean in just a minute. But first, let's see what the gameplay group of Genshin compromises of. Number one, Gan uh, uh, wishing. I mean wishing. You did not hear anything else. Wishing to get new characters through our daily commission grind every single day, events, stories, etc, etc. You know the usual. Just so we can get those sweet, sweet primo gems. Learn I play this game too much. All this so we can wish on the new featured banner that comes out every other month or so with the shiny new 5 stars. 2. Leveling up those said characters we pull from the banners and also give them the right artifact set, leveling up their talents and giving them the right weapon. Yeah, building characters in Genshin gets really long. Like, I just realized I gotta build my whole second team. Huh? But anyways, I don't know if I am the only person to notice this, but there is one glaring issue with this whole process, and that is... With some Genshin characters, they're just made to suck. They just straight up do not live up to some of their potential. Of course, it is subjective. I'm just saying that right now before you guys attack me in the comments. But we are made to believe these characters are amazing through their trailers and story content that Genshin throws at us at every five minutes. Now, imagine they release a realistic trailer. Not every single five star that comes out can be the game breaking five star that you know mihoyo wants us to believe they need to make hype for their new character they're gonna come out imagine the new trailer comes out and it's like uh this character's kind of mid if i'm honest with you you really want to save your primos no they don't want that this character's gonna change your life it's gonna save your gambling addiction it's gonna fix your crippling depression i mean what let me explain so as we progress through the game story traveling from monstat to leeway we meet zhang li you know that guy with a really cool ponytail i don't have a ponytail but I'd look cool if I did. At first, we don't realize he's the Geo Archon, who is the oldest person alive in Genshin. Nearly as old as your mo- no, I'm joking. Anyway, so he's therefore one of the strongest characters lore-wise. As we see him literally sealing- Yeah, that, that giant lizard, that big bad lizard, I can't say his name. I'm not gonna attempt that. So Zhang Li is basically Batman, because he is the silent protector no one knows about. Saves Li Wei behind the scenes, so yeah pretty powerful you know if i was in charge of looking at the entire continent i better be powerful you know well i wish he was that powerful he kind of sucks instead when we pull him on the banner and we somehow win the 50 50 which is a whole other issue for another day we find that zhang li isn't really that great gameplay wise this gameplay consists of holding his elemental skill to create a random stick out the ground wow and then to provide a shield for your actual dps and then immediately switching out because he's not going to do any good damage. It is impossible to get good damage on him. I mean, I don't know, maybe if you grind for some unholy level artifacts, but let's be honest, uh, they're probably way better on a different character. So you could try debating me on that, but it's true and you know it. Although, yes, he does have the best shield in all of Genshin. I think that's undisputed. It's honestly to the point where the fan base complains about how you get Zhongli. It turns the game into a permanent easy mode. And let's be honest, if you have an infinite shield, are you not going to use it? Duh, you are going to use it because who needs to dodge or heal at that point? So yeah, I do understand getting stuck in easy mode. And his shield, his only purpose, lasts a lifetime. And therefore, he never really gets to switch back in because uh, guess what? He does his one jump and he's done. He's done for life. At least for the next minute or next level in, in Spiral Abyss. Don't you dare think about making him your main DPS or even putting him on fuel for more than five seconds at a time because his physical damage is just laughable. How is a random knight from Mondstadt talking about Eula, the character we just got again, more competent in combat than the great Geo Archon? I don't know, man. That's pretty depressing, Zhongli. Fix yourself. There's no way to make him a viable DPS. Instead, he's stuck as a support for his entire life. But that's it for the entire Geo Archon. That's all of him. He's up there to be, low-wise, one of the strongest characters in all of Genshin. And yeah, it's, it's really embarrassing. I'm really sorry, Zhongli. Not only does he not have any money, he sucks and he's useless. It does not help that Zhongli's ult, which is one of the coolest animations in the entire game, where he throws an absolutely massive meteorite from outer space. It looks like something that came straight out of Dragon Ball Z. But guess what? It does uh, zero damage. Uh, Zhang Li is basically just disappointment in a character. Underwhelming? But wait, some of you guys may say, you Zhang Li just sucks. And I say shut up. No, I'm kidding. How much work and effort and hours did it take you to do that to get Zhang Li's damage up to normal levels? I mean, think about it. If you would have done the same thing for everyone else, how much higher would those numbers be? Yeah, it takes hours and he still ends up being quite mid compared to an actual DPS. 
But hey, if you want to build Zhang Yu for DPS, you go for it. I'm trying to build Barbara as a DPS, because that's fun. Now I heard you ask, what about the real DPS characters in Genshin? I'm gonna be honest, they really don't make sense either, because... How is a random knight Eula even involved in the main story? And instead was randomly thrown into the game, years later dealing more damage than the literal Geo outcome. It doesn't even make sense. Sorry Genshin, what? So it kind of feels like there's a massive disconnect from the people who is actually in charge of designing the lore and the story of Genshin versus the people who design the gameplay. Seriously Mihoyo, what is going on? I know you guys are a massive company, but you guys couldn't get into like one room and say, hey, this is supposed to be the most powerful character in Genshin. Can we please make him do some damage? Another great example of Genshin's broken lore, which doesn't match the gameplay, is everyone's favorite character Kazuha because his whole story is based around him being a master swordsman. Now this guy trained for years alongside his brother who dies from fighting the Raiden Shogun and Kazuha's whole arc is about him being able to hold back the Raiden with his sword in an insane cinematic cutscene near the end of the Inazuma storyline. But after all of this you think Kazuha is insane. He'd be like, yo, he's able to hold back the Raiden Shogun with whatever that sword is. His years of training has come out to be extremely useful, being able to rival the Raiden's strength. But no, uh, he's, his damage is doo-doo. He's, he's garbage. And the way you're meant to build him is by spamming elemental mastery on him just so you can do his elemental ability and doesn't even use a sword. What was the point of sword training? Adoi, that doesn't make sense. What, what does that even mean? This is garbage with this sword. Seriously, who, who came who came up with this? Who, who, bring me the man responsible. Now, he just flies in the air to swirl his enemies. Uh, I mean, what's the point at this point? Basically, like, what? Sucre does the same thing and she didn't have to train swordsmanship for like her entire life. So what's the point of even giving him a sword or telling us about his intense sword training when the actual gameplay, you're never gonna see or use it. This problem is made even worse when the 4 star characters overshadow the 5 stars in nearly every way. Now we barely know anything about the 4 star characters from the story since they don't really appear much or at all because the game wants to shove the 5 star characters in your face. Of course they would, they're probably that's where the money comes from isn't it? Everyone wants the 5 star characters so they're not gonna share valuable screen time with the guys he's supposed to be pulling for. Instead, they are relegated to lower side quests and temporary hangout events. And I'm gonna be honest, it's very easy to miss these. And then you don't even know who these four star characters are. Like, who on earth is Fischl? Why does she turn into a bat or a crow? Is she Batman? I don't know. Why is she flying? What, 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 is, what does she ramble on about? Is she schizophrenic? I don't know. Probably. Why would that bird shut up? Why does that bird even talk? I don't know, I could probably google it, but I'm not gonna do that. Why should I care? And why is she one of the best supports in the game? All the best physical damage DPS uh, videos over here to check it out. Seriously, it's insane. I'm not gonna spoil it, but uh, she's broken. And not the way you think it. Team comps right now are mostly made of 4 stars. Not because they're more easily obtainable than the 5 stars, because they're downright better to use for some reason, either as supports or sub DPSs. The key example of this is Bennett and Jiang Ling. Yeah, this guy with a weird haircut and this woman that won't shut up about cooking. Best characters in all of the engine. Get out of here, Arkans. We don't want you. Apart from Nigida, she's actually good for some reason. Who looks like Green Flea. But we're going to talk about Genshin and its color schemes. That's a future video coming out. Just uh, subscribe for that. You would not find a single team comp without these two. Or you struggle to. They're very, very good characters. They work well in so many teams together. These two are found so often just because they're one of the best passive supports in the game. But its ult circle increases damage to a stupid amount. On top of healing everyone. So here's your damage buff and healer in one. I wish I had Bennett. He won't come home. Why doesn't Bennett love me? Why can't I get a single 4 star? Why does my life suck? Why does Mihoyo hate me? I don't know. Keep in mind, Bennett is a 4 star, meaning his abilities should not be this overpowered. You would think that a 5 star that is hard to obtain to be this useful and versatile in every single team, but no, it's Bennett. This idiot can't even swing a sword without getting himself hurt. His little idle animation is him bopping his own head. Yep, he's the greatest guy in all of Teva. This guy. When using Zhang Ling's ult, she summons a great pyro tornado, inflicting insane pyro damage on all enemies around her passively, which is great for elemental reactions. So pretty much anything in the game from melting to, you know, pyro swelling. So all around insanely versatile move. You, I mean, why wouldn't you use it? It's, it's amazing. Build up energy recharge and bam, you can basically throw out your ult 
at every single moment whenever you need it and deal big damage numbers. Is there a reason why she is this stupidly powerful and versatile? No, she just cooks food all day or whatever she does. But no, she's more powerful than the, oh, what, the, uh, the Raiden Shogun or Venti or whatever because who cares about those guys? It's probably in all the food sheets. I don't know what her secret ingredient is. Now, I know some of you guys are maybe saying that they're only used when they're off field. Now, you can only use them to pop out the ultimate. But these guys can literally use their ult every other minute or so or less. Yeah, I just got my uh, Zhang Ling to 270% uh, energy recharge. That was crazy. And then that on stream, by the way. With the right artifacts which takes time but hey we done it and slowly you can do it too i believe in you and honestly it the process isn't really that hard more than time consuming so not even that hard it's not like trying to make your zhongli your main dps it's just wait until you got good artifacts bam there you go broken team and they honestly become way better than five stars and remember it's a lot easier to get four star characters than five star characters which means you can actually use the constellations because no one is getting like uh, C6 Zhongli. Please, don't lie to me unless you're willing to, to sell your wife and kids and your house and your car. Don't sell your wife and kids. 